What's up guys, it's me Nathan, and today I'm doing my list on my top 12 Tiger Woods PGA Tour games. Now I'm going to show you right here the ones I haven't played, but I've played the majority of them. Um, to make it a top 12 list, um, 12 is worst, number 1 is best, so here we go. Um, is, well, I play a lot of Tiger Woods games since I'm really into golf, so I decide why not just make a list of the worst to the best of what I've played. Anywho, let's get started. Number 12, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2001. This one sucked. Now I'm referring to the PS2 version mostly, because I haven't played as much of the PC version, but um, in the PS2 Tiger Woods 01, it's there's not much courses. It's very limited. About you, have, you get the same people as you did in 2000 or 99, and it's clunky. It's crap. The graphics are you know horrible. But it was it was early two, PS2 graphics because you know it was like one of the earliest PS2 games, uh, which that's why it has problems. So to me, that's the worst Tiger Woods game ever made. Um, as for the PC version, it's just like. 2099, about the same game except better graphics and polished. Um, maybe some more courses on, if I can think off the top of my head, but there's nothing much, nothing much to say about that. So yeah, Tiger Woods 01 to me is the worst Tiger Woods game. Number 11, Tiger Woods PJ Tour 2000. This one, I, I enjoyed it, but it gets boring because it's like 99, it's almost the exact same game. The PS1 version of Tiger Woods 2000 you can watch on uh, my YouTube channel where I play with Marcus, you know, we did a whole Let's Play on that, but it's 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 just like 99. There, there's better graphics, there's some differences, but there's not much. There was this period of time from like 99 to 01 where Tiger Woods games were almost the same, and that's where this kind of falls a little bit, not too much. Um, differences, not too many cool stuff, I don't think. Uh, maybe a few cool things here and there, but besides that, it is what it is. Number 10. Now this is hard to do because this game, a lot of people I know who have PS2 own if it's Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods PJ Tour 2007. 2007, um, I was, I was not a fan of it. It was a recycled version of 05 or 06. The putting sucked. I hated the putting in the game, um, and some Tiger Woods games can be like too easy, and some can be too hard. Like oh one, this one, this the putting was too difficult. It was like I was playing Wiley Golf on Nintendo 64. So that's Tiger Woods 07. Same roster almost, nothing new, not too much to write home about. But I know a lot of people who own the game, sadly. But anywho, number nine, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2011. This one uh, was cool. I played the Wii version. Now, this is like the only one I've played this on the Wii. Most of these games I've played on the PlayStation 2, but the Wii version of 2011 was cool with the Wii remote, how you could like swing, but it was too easy. Um, easy mode in the game is like a three-year-old could win a tournament playing this game. I've gone 120 over, under before, about 119 under before. That's how easy the game is. Like in four rounds, I got 119 under. Way too easy. I shot 40s, 46s, and 18 holes. The game is way too easy. Unless you go on a harder mode, but then again, the game is set on an easy mode. Um, the, now, the Ryder Cup is a good addition. The only thing I see good about 2011 is the Ryder Cup. That was like the only cool thing in the game to me. Anywho, number eight Tiger Woods PJ Tour 2008. Um, this one had a good graphics. Um, it improved from 07. Very good. It was just a little bit clunky, and the title screen felt like you're playing The Sims. It, it represented, tried to like do like a new style, but it was okay. It was an okay game. Um, I don't see too much bad with it. There was this, I just saw it was clunky, and there was some problems with like doing some shots that I would have rather done more freely. And I just wasn't as much uh, big into this one. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay, number seven. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2002. 
This is hard to put on here because I personally really enjoy 2002. The biggest problem, the one huge flaw it has, is its camera angles. Boy, do they suck. Like when you're hitting a shot and you're adjusting it up and down, left and right, the camera goes here, it goes there, it goes there. It's bad camera angles, and that's sad for a game. However, it was brand new and a big step up from 2001 huge step up and I enjoy the game I enjoy the courses I enjoy the players in fact this is probably the game where I you know how you can change the golfer's shirt Tiger Woods' shirt in the game with the stripes pretty cool shirt um, and pretty cool courses um, I can't think of much on top of my head I haven't played it in a long time but great game besides the camera angles number six Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2006 this one was to me an average Tiger Woods game um, it was a lot like 05, which I love. And I love the game breaker bar in the game. You know, at the top left, the game breaker, which showed if you're how much you're winning and how much this person's losing. Really cool addition to the game. Also, I really enjoyed the feel. I actually played this one on GameCube. It's the only GameCube Tiger Woods I have. And I prefer GameCube for Tiger Woods games. Just want to let you know, if you're going to play a Tiger Woods game that's older, I prefer the GameCube version. But anywho, yeah, average Tiger Woods game, great courses, great characters. Number five, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2010. Now, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2010 was, I remember, great with multiplayer, and you had a new roster, and um, from what I remember, I think this is the first game I played where Rory McIlroy was in the game. And it was very fun, the courses were great, and the graphics were awesome. But yeah, that is why... Tiger Woods 2010 is number five. Now, number four. Now, a lot of people may disagree with me on this. It's very opinion-based. Number four goes to Tiger Woods PGA Tour 1999. Now, not many people knew as much about... Uh, I don't know as many people who played much Tiger Woods up until the 2003 iteration, but 99 is really good, and let me explain. It's the first one in the in the whole series. You got a fresh thing of courses. You got the golfers, of course. But here's the best part: the custom content of the game. If you look up online, you can get custom maps that are awesome, like South Park. You can play a South Park level, and you know they had to recall Tiger Woods because 99p is somebody put a South Park episode in the files. They had to recall copies. My copy has the South Park episode on it, but somebody decided to say. Why don't we make a South Park map where you play in the South Park world? It's awesome. I'll put a link down below. Um, there's a bunch of other courses like Devil's Island, a really hard course, but very awesome. And somebody cr recreated the Masters course. And if you don't know about this, um, not too many Tiger Woods games have the Masters Augusta National course in them. Somebody made a course like that, made the whole Masters course. So that's why Tiger Woods I-9 is number four. A lot of you may be mad about that, a lot of you may not even be familiar with the game, but check it out, and I'll put a link down below to all those custom maps. Number three, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2003. This is the one, I think, where Tiger Woods games start getting more esteem in the public, and this one was the first game to introduce St. Andrews, and, you know, the roster was pretty good, but, you know, um, I think this is my favorite game for the look, how it looked, and the music was pretty good, but how the game looked and how you spin the ball and the colors and everything, this one was the most organized one to me, personally, and um, I just I just loved playing it, it was so much fun, had a blast, anywho, number two, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2005, 2005 is the most nostalgic one for me, and it's the one that had Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicholas, Ben Hogan, all the legends in it. And you could play as legends, and there's a whole legends thing. And you could go into the PGA Tour Hall of Fame and stuff. It was a great Tiger Woods game. Um, had good stories behind it. Um, and a great roster. It had a huge roster of golfers that year. But Now the number one best Tiger Woods game of all time that we're all thinking about... Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004. In fact, the best-selling Tiger Woods game ever made, and for good reason. This game is awesome. Um, 
like I said with the new roster, I can't remember if that was 05 or 04, sorry about that. I can't remember that off the top of my head. And this video is unscripted, but, and sorry if I ramble a little bit, but 04 was really good. Um, this had Penguin Falls, that I can remember. The Predator, that was a hard as balls course. It was just a perfect Tiger Woods game. Sure, it was. It was. It could be easy at times, but it was lots of fun to play on those custom courses that you don't see in any of the others. <coughs> but yeah, that was my list of the top twelve Tiger Woods games. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, very opinion based. Um, I hope I don't get any hate from this. I hope some people watch it. And I hope you all enjoy it. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to check out Tiger Woods 99. Get it for the computer. It works on a lot of modern computers. And get those custom maps, man, because that, that's just where it's at. Well, that's all for this video. I'm going to go play South Park on Tiger Woods 99. I'll catch you later.